Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'll be demonstrating an air swipe again. Uh, but halfway through, through, you'll see that I say, hmm, what if I... and then I change my plan. So I hope you enjoy. Stay to the very end for close-ups of the wet results. Unfortunately, I don't have dry results on this piece as I was moving it into the other room for the drying area. Um, I was looking down at it and my reading glasses slipped off and fell right onto the painting. So I saved my reading glasses, but I was not able to save the painting. So I'll have to try it again sometime. Uh, but uh, again, uh, wet results are at the end of this tutorial and in the description box below are the list of the colors that I've used as well as my hints and tips on the technique. Number one being don't drop your reading glasses into it. <laughs> Thanks again and enjoy. Okay, I'm ready to play. So today I'm going to do another air swipe. Um, I'm use, pre, uh, using a previously painted canvas. Uh, this was a fun experiment and uh, I learned a lot from it, but it's not something I want to keep. So I'm going to paint over top of this today. Uh, this is a 24 by 24 inch canvas. Um, and my colors, first I'll show you my base coat. This is, this is Amsterdam's permanent blue violet mixed with Amsterdam's um, lamp black. So I've tinted it a, a, a bit darker, or shaded it darker, uh, because uh, I want it to dry as dark as possible. I want it to look like black when it dries, but um, when it plays with some of these other colors, it will give it a violet, violet tint to it. So uh, that's the plan for the base coat. Um, I have uh, DecoArt Extreme Sheen uh, Sterling Silver. Um, this is Amsterdam Titanium White with a little bit of um, Amsterdam's um, Pearl White. And then this is DecoArt Extreme Sheen Pewter. So those are my colors. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is lay down a base coat. And I'm going to cover the entire canvas today. Let's start with this half though. Whenever I mix up a custom color, I always mix up more than I think I'll need uh, because it's impossible to match it again. You'll never recreate it exactly, so it's better to start with more than you need than wish you had more. So let's blow this out.
So we're not going to be tilting this canvas, so I'm going to make sure all of my sides and edges are covered. It's a bit of an experiment, so if it doesn't turn into a masterpiece, that's okay, but I still want it to look as presentable as possible. You never know, sometimes somebody wants to buy these experiments. And that's always nice. There we go. So let's give that a quick torch. Looks great. Okay. So now we're going to layer our colors. I think I want... I don't want to do this. There we go. So titanium white. Actually, I'm going to do a double layer of that. I want a lot of that. I want some high contrast. And sometimes darker colors swallow up the lighter colors. Okay, so after the white, we're going to put on a layer of silver. I should have put this in a different cup to pour it. paper cup, you can pinch the tip and control how much is coming out. This extreme sheen sells up a lot. So if you want a lot of cells, put a lot of it in there. If you don't, then you can put a little less. There we go. Then for the pewter, I love this color, so I'm gonna put a lot of that. Not high contrast with this dark base, but um, it sells up a lot also, so it's gonna be some really pretty details, I hope. There we go. All right, and let's just put a little bit more of the uh, base coat down in front of it. This is going to be what we're swiping, air swiping, over top of the other colors. Now a Dutch pour, as I understand it, I would put this on both sides, blow it over on both directions, and then blow out my design. Um, and with a blowout, I would just blow out my design from here. But with an air swipe, I put the, I put one color here. It could be a different color from what's on the base, but I put one color here and then blow it all out this direction. So basically swiping this color over top of the others.
that is pretty. Nice. I like that there's some darker bits coming up through all of the other parts. This is amazing. So nice. See some more additional cells coming up here from that pewter and the silver. Awesome, so we'll let that sit. That will continue to develop. that dark center so I'm going to follow the same direction but leave quite a bit of negative space in the middle and again I'm going to put a little extra of the white Computer. And then we're going to take some distilled water that I've decanted into this squirt bottle. And we're just going to wet the tips of the paper towel. We don't want it soaking wet, but just enough that it becomes a little floppy like that. And the key to this, actually, we're going to torch first. It looks like I've messed up this little section right here. start right here. Oh, almost forgot. I want another little layer of base coat color here because I'm going to swipe that over top of the other colors. Sounds like we have a motorcycle going past. Sorry about the noise. Yes. So here's the the key to doing a swipe like this is to put your dampened paper towel in, but don't lay it flat. Just get the tip of it done, but leave it vertical and then swipe directly back. Don't lay your whole paper towel down. You want to swipe one color over top of the others. 
you don't want to swipe all of the colors at the same time. Cool. Boy, that pewter likes to move and sell up. It's a little bossy. Not seeing my titanium white there, but let's try it again. Uh, let's do it right here on the edge. So dip the tip, get it wet, and then pull very, very slowly. shadows way too long you always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art Cool. Very nice effect. I'm really happy with that. I wonder if we sit here and wait a few minutes, some of those cells might develop a little more. But I'll bring you in for a close up. So here we have the overhead view. Uh, air swipe on one side and uh, 
standard swipe on the other. Uh, so I'll take you in for the close up. I think um, this side is beautiful. I love these pewter and silver cells that have come up in the center. The titanium white. Let's see how close I can get get in focus. So hard with these dark backgrounds to get it, get it to focus correctly. That's beautiful. I love that violet coming through the white there. So all of the darkest parts here, that center is going to dry and it's just going to look black. Uh, but my hope is that all of the blended sections like this will still show violet when it dries. And that silver and the pewter should add a lot of beautiful shimmer. Um, I know some people are going to prefer the swipe and I think it's beautiful, but I prefer the air swipe area. I love the, the motion of this. I'm sorry, there's so much glare because it's daytime and it's wet and it's dark. <laughs> I've turned off all of my lights except for the, um, except for the ring light. Look, see these sections, this section here? So beautiful. I love the depth of that white coming through the, the violet. So pretty. Um, great cells. I think the colors turned out great. That pewter worked perfectly with this color scheme. Yeah, so this looks great. I'm not sure if I prefer it in this orientation. Or this orientation. This is the way you saw it the whole time it was filming. And I think I like that. We'll see when it dries. We'll see when it dries and I can hang it up on the wall and we can test out the different orientations. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe learn something, inspired to try it yourself. And uh, yeah, hope to see you again here sometime.